Okay, so the first uh, the first one in Satin Doll, that's a 2-5 in the key of C. So it's a D minor, you're doing D minor, G7. It does that a couple times. So for that one, I'm putting my pointer finger on the D on the fifth string, minor, and then pointer finger on the sixth string, seventh. Just keeping it really simple with minors and sevenths right now. And then you do that same thing, D minor on the sixth string, tenth fret. And then G7 will be here. Um, a little bit. And then four. And of course we can do some of these other voicings instead of G7 here. Turn our tone, you know, a little bit more smooth, so you have a little more dark end. Cool. That's a D minor. E seven is the exact same, th or E minor seven is the exact same thing. The next little chord progression is E minor to A seven. So it's the same fingering. Or up here. Or. Um, and then we've got an A minor and D seven. So A is here, and D is here. Or A is here. Um, so A is on the fifth string, and D is on the. And again, we can do a lot of these voicings. Maybe some of those variations for the seventh chord. So here it could be uh, A or. And we did that. And then A flat is here, and then D flat is here. Flat seventh, fourth fret, or up here A flat at the eleventh fret on the fifth string. I'm sorry, A flat minor and D flat seven. Again with some variations. Or and then back to C. And then there's one of these minor two fives. So there's an E here, half diminished. Altered, which you can either do a sharp five like this. So here's your seventh chord. Just take the five and move it up a fret, or a flat nine on the first string, or up here. Here's the uh, uh, E on the sixth string, twelfth fret. Here's the flat five, and then the A would be, you know, for example, here's an A seven at the twelfth fret with a sharp five. Like, or flat five, or a seven with a flat one at the thirteenth fret there. So it could be, and then it goes back. A to D, A flat to D, flat C. section, here's a G. G minor and C. Or use the ninth third. That's what's written down on the sheet. Yeah. Or here's the G up here, G minor, 10th fret, and C, 8th fret. So these together. And F here, so here's your major. Or down here it would be There's another G minor C. That does the exact same thing up two frets. So A, D, so fifth fret on the A, minor, fifth fret on the D, fifth string, G7. Here's the twelfth fret A on the fifth string, and the D in the tenth fret. Cool. Those are just those two versions. We're always working with those two versions. to D, D and G again, so D minor, G or D and G, and then E and A again, uh, E or E and A, or E and A, E here and A here, always just those two versions, if you know those two versions of the turnaround, you know the other two five, you're good.
Um, so that whole B section here is a G, C, G, C, F, G, C, then A, D, G, A, D, D, G, E, A, and then it goes back to the A section. Okay, so those are all the chords. Okay. Let me just play it through so you see it. One, two, three, four. D, 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 So, first progression, I was do that D and G. One, two, three, four. That was both those versions. Here's... And see, I can interchangeably do it. If I'm doing it here, that fits with this. Could you play it all here? I can play it all here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pinky. 
So A flat is here. So C is just going to be in the key of C major. Um, and then that E flat half diminished in A7 altered. That's really D minor, which is F. funny because I didn't play it as a half diminished two the first time. Okay, let me again try that. Messed that up. Uh, e flat, half diminished, and A altered maybe this. Cool. And then what we have E flat, half diminished, and A maybe altered like this. So it's uh, Down to the second string, okay. and then just move that up. 